Okay, we've got a whole bunch of stocks here, symbols, price. That's what happens every week when we get some extra information from uh, the stock market. Now, let's take those fields and organize them. Okay, let's think about each one of them. Where does it belong? What is it tied to? Well, symbol, that's tied to the company. The date, that's the stuff that we're getting on each week's information. So is the price and the price change. Company, course is company. Sector and subsector, those are their classification. Watch, that's tied to the company. Whether I watch this one or not, and the div yield, of course, is the same thing every, every year. I'm sorry, every week we have to look at the division yield, dividend yield. Okay. So we organize these, and then we add an ID field to each one of them. We have three tables. And see how they're linked? I'll take the ID from the sector, subsector group, and tie it to a subsector ID. Same thing with symbol ID. Although I could change that. I don't really need to do symbol ID. I could just use symbol if I felt like it. So there's a little variation in what your correct answer should have looked like. Let's see what it really did look like. Okay. We got problems with the fields that are tied together that don't belong to, no table names, no ID fields. Typical problems. Here we see two tables, but what's wrong with that? Well, company ID be the same as the price ID. You can't link them together. Next. Why would you watch price ID? I don't see how those are tied together. And ID, of course, belongs to company ID. Moving on. None of these fields belong together. Company, sector ID, price, and the date. Here's another one. Company ID to company ID. But if you know the subsector, then you know the sector. Isn't that right? So sector is dependent on the subsector. I don't know why we have these three separate tables here. Uh, and why is ID tied to subsector? That doesn't really make sense. Again, the links don't make any sense. When does the company equal the date? The price equal the date ID. The subsector equal to the div yield. This one looks pretty good, actually. I might move the watch over here and the price over there. Basically, watch is what you do to a company. Price is each week. This one's also not too bad. Just got to move a couple little things, and, and uh, we're in good shape. Okay, you need to link the, the stock info table to the company ID and how you can do that with the stock ID. All right. Company symbol belong over there with the watch, the div yield, never mind it's misspelled, belongs over there with stock info. Yeah, the symbol is not in the sector table. It doesn't make any sense, but we do need a subsector tied back to the company. Again, price to sector makes no sense. Move a couple fields, you'll be in pretty good shape. Here again, we have SID to PID, price change to watch. Makes no sense to link that way. Move a couple fields, we'll be all right. I don't know what to tell you here. Now, they forgot the subsector field here. Again, company to price makes no sense. Price change to div yield makes no sense. Get these organized. Every relationship, every, every table has to have a relationship with another table. And that means fields in common. This is not too bad. Just move a couple things, incorrect link. We can work with it. 